And so, as you should know, I don't have a special bias against Windows. Can you even imagine if she had? I'd say by nature I hate everything the same. But this? It just goes too far. Let me demonstrate to you what I mean. So we open settings app, that had a major overhaul, and it now undoubtedly looks gorgeous. And it has so many personalization options too. Awesome? But if we try to resize it, then, what the hell? Not even Flutter. And it happens in many apps, like the new app store. Oh, and I won't even get bothered with the broken corners on a core Windows app. That's a GTK4 app. Look how it resizes maybe? Please let me open a few apps. This. And that. And now let's go to Windows Overview. So you have put that fake title bar that creates a gap with the rest window, and it gets super terrible when we're moving it. Even exiting and entering the overview feels awful. Can't you see it? And when we're moving a window out, there is not even an animation? Open overview, open window. Move window. Bring window back. Out. In. And again and selections. Then, there is the most annoying thing in the world, that we need to hover a workspace to preview it, instead of clicking it. It's even impossible to describe how bad the user experience actual is, unless someone knows already. But all I'm wondering is, you seriously can't even fix the workspace of switching animations and backgrounds? So clicking on a workspace thumbnail will leave us on Windows Overview, as it should. Much faster, much more convenient. And switching workspaces animation just works, like everywhere else really. I know! Now you're gonna say that Windows 11 is just a preview at this point, right? I was gonna actually say death to all but metal. Thing is, that all those issues and much more similar issues, are actually affecting Windows 10 stable releases too. In fact, I very much doubt that there was much of work done in the Windows Compositor, because everything behaves exactly as Windows 10. However a thing that Windows 11 do better than GNOME, is the tiling. Which isn't like a big achievement since GNOME can't do any tiling than two vertical windows. But even that isn't really that great. For example, scaling more than two windows from a single point doesn't work, sometimes the tiling previewer fails. Some windows don't even display the tiling widget, and in any case, there are many many issues and I wouldn't be very positive they will be addressed in the stable release. And in the end of the day, whatever Microsoft develops is basically an ultimate garbage. Everything than their open source apps. I mean, come on, they can't even build a video player that's actually useful. And anyway, I'm trying to complete a thought. It's fruitless. A single-celled life form needs 100 years to complete a thought, imagine how much time Coco needs. So as I was saying, I think it is unfair to blame Windows for all their bads. I think it is basically the Microsoft developers that actually suck. And I don't mean they suck as developers, that is obvious anyway. I'm saying they suck as human beings, because in their event they promised awesomeness and openness, and in reality they deliver the worst desktop today, and by far. There is nothing really new on Windows 11. Different look, same problems.